Sylvia, thanks so much for joining me. Today I wanted to do a chatty get ready with me using some of the products that I got in my latest Ipsy bag. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then just keep on watching. Thanks. Okay, so one of the things that I got in my Ipsy bag is the Tarte Base Tape, and it's a hydrating primer that I've used a few times now, so I think I'm starting to get an idea of what I think about it. Honestly, I am not super impressed. I feel like, while it is hydrating, I don't feel like it's more hydrating than other products that I have, and it's just super liquidy and kind of irritating to use. I had mentioned in my latest makeup bag video, or what's in my makeup bag video, that I had a few things that I'd gotten from a friend of mine that has BoxyCharm. One of those things was the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation, which I'm kind of excited about trying out a little bit more. I've only used it once so far, and I think it's a pretty good color match. The only thing is that it's kind of an odd not an odd, but just a consistency that I'm not quite used to. It's kind of moosey. So yesterday was super fun. We had some friends over to play that board game that I had mentioned in, I think it was like the first like chatty get ready with me that I did. Um, it's called Root and it's so much fun. Basically the premise of the game is that you have these different factions of animals that are fighting for control of the forest. So we got the expansion that has the lizards and then the um, it's called the River Folk Company. They're the otters and they're so cute. They're like traders. And it was just super fun to be able to play with a bigger group because with the update, they did actually include like kind of a new faction of sorts. So it's still the cats, but it includes a way to play them as like a mechanical marquee. The cats are called the marquee. And so that way, if even just my husband and I are playing, we can still have like three players because it's basically like a computer controlled player which is kind of neat for there to be a com like a computer controlled player but in a board game. So we just pre-ordered the next expansion, which I think is supposed to ship in December. So we do have to wait a little while for it, but this expansion is gonna have uh, crows and moles in it, I believe. And two new Vagabond characters, an owl and a squirrel, I think. So it's finally gotten sunny. I'm so excited. Um, if you didn't know, so I live in the Pacific Northwest, which means it rains all the time, but this season has actually not been quite so bad. If hiking is your thing, there's some amazing hikes, and we definitely want to do more of that this summer. I think we're going to try to go camping too. We have a camping spot that's about 45 minutes away from our house that we like a lot. It's kind of nice because it's a campground, but it has like a really nice day park area with a lake that you can swim at, and it does have bathrooms and showers, which I kind of prefer when we're camping. I know that some people don't think that's like real camping, whatever, but I just feel like when they have things like that, I feel like I want to stay longer as opposed to just wanting to do like a weekend thing. Like I'd rather stay for like a few days and because it's fairly close, I mean, there are some amazing campsites that are a few hours away and I guess that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things because there are some really amazing places. But what's nice about it being less than an hour away, if you have some people that maybe they, maybe they can only come for a couple days, like if they work and they only have like the weekend off, then it makes it easier for them to just meet up for a little bit. So maybe you go ahead and, you know, get everything set up and you're able to stay longer. But if you have a couple friends that can just swing in for like a couple days. I was actually able to have a campfire last year because there was like a burn ban in place. There is a problem with quite a few fires that had started um, recently in the gorge, a big part of it like around Multnomah Falls. That's a more popular spot that I think people will come to this area specifically to see, to do some hikes around that area. Anyway, there was a big fire in that area and not only that, but in other places too. And I think partly for that reason, there was a burn ban. So anyway, we weren't able to have a campfire last year. We could only use like our like propane stoves. So I'm hoping that this year we can go camping and have a proper campfire which is one of my absolute favorite things. I love the smell of it. I'm sorry, I just realized other than the foundation and the primer, I didn't actually tell you what products I was using. So I have two things that are in my project pan right now. I have the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. It's just a setting powder. And then the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. So both these things I'm chugging along with my project pan and I really do enjoy using those. And then I have a couple things that are in this um, just singles palette that I put together. So three of them actually are like a bronze topper slash highlight from a physician's formula. I think it's called the like bronze booster. It's the shimmering one. Anyway, I was using the bronze topper from that one. And I think I might use 
one of those highlights too. I forget if I mentioned it in my other one, but this summer is just gonna be crazy busy. Like all good things, I'm super looking forward to it, but oh my goodness, is it gonna be busy. So my husband's family always does a trip to Sun River, which we're gonna be doing like the beginning part of July, I think it is. And then my cousin is getting married in um, California, so we're gonna fly down for that, which I'm super looking forward to because I haven't seen her in a while. Like the last weekend of July and first part of August, we're actually gonna be in Paris, which I'm really excited about. I've never been there before. I've been to Europe a couple times, but not to Paris. So I went to Latvia and Netherlands the first time, and then the second time we were mostly in Denmark, and then we had just like a short layover in Germany, so we didn't really get to see anything. So for blush today, I mean, I do have that Too Faced one that's in my project pan. I'm starting to get like a tiny bit tired of it, just from using it all the time. I'm not trying to use up the entire thing over the course of this year. That would be a lot of blush. And like I've mentioned before, this is a very nostalgic product for me. It was the very first tie-in product I ever bought, and so I'm not in a rush to get out of my collection. I just want to make sure that it actually hit pan on it. I think I'm going to top it off with, I feel like it was an Ofra blush. I can't remember for sure. It's actually kind of a dark color, like a dark kind of cool toned blush, but I just want to add like a tiny bit, a little bit further back. Not so much on the apples of my cheeks, but just change up the blush look a little bit, keep things interesting. And then for highlights, I have those two Physicians Formula ones. One of them is kind of a golden tone, one of them is more of a white, kind of icy. And then I have that pure one from last month. So let's do some of that pure one first because I feel like it was more subtle. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the Physicians Formula one on top. So pretty. See, I just, between the two, I definitely prefer the Physician's Formula one. This is one that I've actually hit quite a bit of pan on. And then I forgot to mention it in the actual video about my makeup bag, but I also wanted to throw in the Morphe setting spray, like the continuous setting mist. I didn't have a face spray in there and I do like to, wow, this is like just about done. <laughs> I do like to set down my makeup and also I knew that this one was pretty much done, so I just wanted to try to get the rest of the use out of this one. So I have my Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer. This one is in the shade Peach Glow. I am feeling coppery vibes today and I, I just love like purple and copper together. I think that that's such a pretty combination. I think to get things started, I'm gonna dip into that bronze topper and just work that into the crease. So right now I'm filming in my living room and Luna's curled up on the couch, which she doesn't usually do. Like, she likes being in the same room as us. Like, she'll follow me throughout the house, but she's not usually one to sit, like, right next to you. She's definitely not one to, like, jump up on your lap. Oh my gosh, speaking of Luna, so I had the craziest time trying to take her to the groomers the other day. So I had never taken her to the groomers before, but especially going into summer, I just wanted to get her taken to, like, professional because she has very long fur and she's shedding all over the place. Our apartment always gets really warm, so it's just as well if we can get her a trim and she'll be more comfortable, it'll be less work for us, yada yada, good thing, right? <sighs> okay, so they told me that it was gonna be like a four hour appointment. So you just drop them off and then you pick them up later. So about an hour after I had Dropped her off, I get a phone call from the place and my heart just sank because I was a little bit anxious about whether or not she was gonna cooperate. Just cause, I mean, she hates going to the vet and she seemed really upset like when we very first got there. It just took her to a groomer that's like right next to the vet. And so I don't know if she thought we were going there but she was really upset already and I felt bad like just dropping her off. But by the way, I'm dipping into my Juvia's Place Warrior palette now and grabbing this shade, what's it called? Amina, I think it's called, um, just on my finger and tapping that on. So she was very upset. She was hissing and growling and throwing a huge fit. Like they weren't even able to actually get her out of the kennel to even try to do anything because she just absolutely would not let them touch her. They even had to like go next door and 
try to get help from like the vet side to try to get her out of the kennel because she just was not having it. It's really mad in the end. They were able to get her, but couldn't be mad at her because, you know, if I was dropped off in a strange place and forced to get a haircut I didn't ask for, I mean, I'd, you know, probably be upset too. So I'm going to dip into the Sunday fun day and just build up a little bit of that in the outer corner. And then for the lower lash line, what I've really been enjoying doing is taking this bright blue shade from Ulta's uh, After Hours. Oops putting that down first and then putting Sunday fun day on top of it. I did like a signature makeup video and I'm actually going to be posting another one that's kind of another spin on my signature makeup but for days that I'm wearing my glasses because I definitely feel like I do my makeup differently if it's a day that I'm wearing my glasses but anyway it was a very like peachy coppery look is the vibe that I tend to go for so I can link that if that sounds like something you'd be interested in seeing. This is another product that I had gotten from my friend that she'd gotten in a BoxyCharm. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. And I feel very conflicted on this product because I quite like this shade. I think it's a good match for me, but the product is just so soft. Like, I feel like I'm running through this really fast. And beyond that, it's harder to control. I mean, I feel like my brows can go from like zero to 10,000 in a second. It's a battle of me against the brows, you know? And I feel like this pencil might be a weapon of the brows more so than it is of mine. <laughs> Sometimes. To finish up the eyes, I have another product from my Ipsy bag. This one is the Ico London Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. Just run a bit of this on the top lash line. We'll do a little bit of a wing. And I really, really like this eyeliner. I've mentioned it before, but because this is, you know, I'm sorry, I, what am I trying to do? Talk and do eyeliner at the same time. Eyeliner first, then talk, Olivia. I think that's actually pretty symmetrical. Yes. Ah, oh my gosh, hair in my eye. Ow, ow, I'm dying. But like I was saying, I really like the formula. The, it has a very fine tip to it, so I feel like it's actually fairly easy to get a good wing, even though as we all know, that can be a major struggle. And I often feel like a bird being shoved out of the nest and I don't have the proper wings to be able to control my flight and end up flapping spastically until I crash and burn. That's how my winged eyeliner often feels. Like you start out trying to make a wing that's like robin sized, sparrow sized maybe, and all of a sudden, like, you have an albatross on your face. And you're like, where did this massive wing come from? Oh, it came from the fact that I was trying to make them even and went back and forth about 50 times. And now we're here and I can actually take flight. Which, wouldn't that be nice if you could actually take flight? Because you're probably late from trying to fix your eyeliner. And it would really, really help to get where you're going on time if you could actually fly. Okay, and then the very last thing I want to use today, so this is also from my Ipsy bag. So this is the balm. It's the Creamy Lip Stain, and this is in the shade Salute. And I've used this a few times so far, and I have kind of mixed feelings about it because I really like the tone. It's a very nice, like, cool toned neutral, which I definitely prefer. Um, I like, I'm sorry, why am I trying to talk while I do things that will just be messed up? One sec. I like warmer neutrals. I mean, sometimes I like them on me. I definitely like them on other people, but I feel like I prefer a cooler tone on me. I just think it works a little bit better it, with my skin tone. I don't know. Sometimes I almost feel like a warm nude is like too close to my skin tone and then it just looks kind of weird. I don't know. And then also you have that like slightly yellow teeth issue or not even yellow teeth, but just like normal teeth that can look yellow if <laughs> they're next to something really warm. So. I really love the shade of this and it does feel comfortable. It's not like a liquid lipstick that's gonna dry down and feel super matte and be really uncomfortable. And so for that reason, I, I do like it. But the stain power, you know, isn't great. I mean, they do call it a stain. So <clears throat> see, that's why I have kind of mixed feelings about it because I don't think that the staying power is as good as I expected. Um, not because I expected it to be like a liquid lipstick, but just because they call it a stain. So kind of what I expected was that like as you wear it throughout the day, 
you know, the color is going to transfer, of course, because it's very creamy. It's not like it dries down. So if you're eating or drinking, whatever, it's going to come off. But I thought that it was going to leave behind a really nice stain, as indicated by the word stain. I don't feel like it leaves a nice looking stain. Like, I feel like it has the tendency to dry my lips out a little bit in the same way that like a liquid lipstick would, but it doesn't have the same color payoff. So I feel like I end up having kind of dry, virgin and crusty lips. And of course I could do like a balm first and that would help, which I did do today. I, um, I'm using my Glossier um, balm.com. This one's in my project pan too. But anyway, so I know that there's some things you can do to help it be you know, not only more comfortable, but also to look better. But I don't know, it's just not paying off in the same way that I thought it would. So I don't feel like it's necessarily better than like a traditional lipstick because with, with a traditional creamy lipstick, it would be more comfortable. I still feel like it often will leave behind a bit of a stain. I mean, I guess it depends on like the brand and the shade you pick, but that often ends up happening. But it, those ones don't usually dry out my lips. You know, so I'm kind of on the fence, but I overall I like it. I just don't know that this is gonna be like the everyday go-to product that I was hoping it would be, but that's okay. So that is everything today that I wanted to use. So thanks for joining me for a good old chat. I always have a lot of fun just talking about makeup, but also just kind of talking about other things that are going on. I always find that really interesting to watch for other people. So I hope that you found it interesting as well. So if you have any comments, questions, whatever, leave them in the comment section down below. Love to have to continue our chat. And thank you again for watching. If you'd be interested in seeing future videos, definitely make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.